I'm not here to judge you, Ethan. I'm trying to save the life of your son. We still have time, but it's running out. Help me, Ethan. Tell me what you know. Ethan, I'm trying to help you. I just want to understand what happened. But you have to trust me. Ethan, say something, for God's sake! Look at these, Ethan. Look at these. Eight photographs. Eight lives taken. Drowned in the goddamn rain. Recognize this one, huh? That's your son, Ethan. That's Sean. He is still alive. Talk to me, Ethan. Say something! I kidnapped my son. But I can't remember what happened. I don't know where he is. The only way to find him is to let me out of here. I'm the only person who can save him. You say you can save him, but you don't know where he is. That doesn't make sense, Ethan. I love my son. I love my son. If you keep me here, Sean is going to die. Time's running out, Ethan. And frankly, I don't care why you did it. The only thing I want to know is where you've hidden Sean. I don't know. I would already have saved him if I knew where he was. Okay. This is your last chance, Ethan. And this time, I suggest you think carefully before you answer. Where is Sean? I told you, I don't know. Ah! Wrong answer. Ah. Blake! What are you doing? This guy's a killer! He's got no fucking rights! He's gonna tell me everything! Even if he is a killer, that doesn't give you the right to beat him! Whose side are you on, Norman? Are you defending this piece of shit? I'm defending the law, and the law says he is innocent until proven guilty! This guy's got no rights, do you hear me? No rights at all! You fuck! Now you're gonna tell me what I wanna know or I'm gonna fucking cripple you! If you beat him, his confession's worthless. Now throw the case out. That is not the way it's gonna go. I'm gonna tell the whole story to Captain Perry.
I'm I'm literally making coffee in like a fucking heavy scene. I'm just making coffee when there's like shit going on. Like okay, priorities. What? Where are these priorities? Now, where where am I supposed to go? Like, listen to this music. It's this is some intense shit. This is intense. Ooh, should I take some drugs? Taking drug, taking drugs. Where are my drugs? Yeah, they made it way too dramatic. Like the, this music is so unnecessary. And I took the drugs. The drugs. Yes. Delicious drugs. Should I try to get everyone killed? Am I playing the piano now? What the fuck? Why? This is high quality gameplay. The funny thing is I played this game last year and stopped and never beat it, so I have no idea what's going on with this story. You can. You can kill your character. And then you don't... Like, you play as different characters, and if you kill one off, you don't play as them anymore. Your vodka, sir. So if you play really stupidly, you can kill everyone off. Thanks. And, like, end the game early. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? I think Detroit is like that too. Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. Yeah, the if I can. The psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? I haven't the faintest fucking idea. <laughs> Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but that's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Suicide run. Yeah. What the fuck? Okay. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. I bet he's the origami killer. Plot twist. I don't want to. I don't. I just. What? Why are these? En these are engrams from Destiny. Analyze. Paper. Two hundred fifty grams. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. Yeah. Orchid. Let's just sit here and analyze a bunch of crap. Mm, a 
common species. That doesn't help much. You know what else doesn't help much? Your bitch ass face. One thousand five hundred and eighty three vehicles identified. That's not gonna help you find the killer's car. Maybe if I cross check it against another clue. <laughs> this is David Cage games. He took a trip to Mars to look over all the evidence. Cause you see on Mars there's no origami killer. Harry Common. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. This guy's voice is weird. Okay. What the fuck? That was a joke. He's not actually on Mars. I'm just talking shit. He has like these weird goggles that like can like make things appear. You have to like shake the control. Like, oh, you can change the. That's what that is. You can change the environment you're in. So I'm no longer on Mars. Okay, what do I, what am I, can I go to file? Okay. Doesn't this game just make so much sense? There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. I just, I kind of want to know who the killer is. I have no idea who the killer is. The killer is white, age between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, all work allows free time. Okay. I don't... Okay. What am I doing? The killer is you. It's somehow like some fucking giant conspiracy where you're actually just controlling everyone. You are God and you control everyone. Okay. So what am I... What am I doing here? I looked at all these. I put that back. So, okay. Is it like The Sims? No, that was another joke. Don't, anything I say, don't take it seriously. I told you I was gonna shit on this game. These games are fun to just sit and joke about. <laughs> if David Cage is watching this, I would laugh. How many developers do you think...
Okay. Stop it. I was gonna say, how many how many developers do you think sit there and go on Twitch and go to their game categories and just like scroll through and see what people are doing in their games? If I was a game developer, I would do that. I would go on Twitch and check out streams. I feel like that'd be really fun. I, I don't know what I'm doing here. There's a difficulty setting? How does this game have a difficulty setting? What am I like doing? Where are the controls? Orgasmy killer? Oh. Thoughts. Oh, thoughts. Control switch. Not much time left. Gotta find something fast if I wanna save the kid. A clue. Anything. Oh, I'm sure it's staring me in the face. Perhaps, sir, you should have another look at your clues. Perhaps, sir, you should have another look at your clues. Clues. I've already looked at all these. Can I geo-analyze any of these? Just one origami store in town. There's an origami store? What is an... There's actual origami stores. Was he on LSD? The orchid is a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. Any flower shop. Yeah, he was probably on all kinds of drugs. See, that's why this this character is based off of him because they take drugs. I get past this part, this is dumb. Perhaps, sir, you should have another look at your clues. See, I told you it was a bad game. How do you get past this, though? Did I not analyze everything? I want to go back to the plot. Oh wait. No. Re. No, wrong thing. Oh man, wait till you see um you're going to love uh Detroit become human. You're going to love that one. There are ways you can kill people off, and it is amazing. The killer's car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. Perhaps, sir, you should have another look at your clues. I don't know what I'm doing. Wait. I mean, you can David Cage suicide run in Detroit. You can kill, like, off pretty much any character in Detroit. A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park. When in the opposite direction at 1637, that could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? 
Nice. Ah, uh, pity we can't see the driver's face. Am I done now? The car was stolen. Let's see. A certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. Hmm. Okay. I already looked through that. Oh, here we go. Oh, man. Look at that dude. Jackson Neville, AKA Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided I'm... the killer with a car. That's a great value, that's Neo. Right now. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> That's a very good way to describe his character. Press up to get up. High quality gameplay. Okay. I like how I had all those clues right there. Like, I could have looked that up. The blinking sequence? I didn't notice that. <laughs> Did Mars confess? No, not yet. He lost consciousness. We'll give him a break and then what we'll I get find back. silly is you had yeah, all these clues the, the whole fucking time. Tough you could have just no brought break. these up before they oh, fucking dude. interrogated Mars. In any case, congratulations, hey. Lieutenant. You've done a fine job. Hey. I've called a press conference. Gonna kick off hey. in one hour. I hey. expect it'll be quite What are you doing? Bad. What are you doing? Don't you you guys are fucking stupid. No point. We've got him dead to rights. That's all the press wants to know. I gotta find some way to- Ethan Mars is innocent. He truly believes that he alone can save Sean. What if he's right? I'll play those odds. I've got to get him out of here. Can I go make some more coffee? I wanna go do that. I'm gonna go do that. More coffee. Oh god. I'm getting some more coffee, guys. Hold your horses. There are more serious matters to attend to at the coffee machine. This is way more important than anything else in the game. I don't care about saving children. I just want to drink cups of coffee that apparently are too hot. And his pussy mouth can't take it. So he just throws it away. There, okay. Look, look at these police. They're doing a fine job of staring in the fucking fridge. This is like the ugliest police station ever. It's so fucking dull. Wait, what? Why is there a room with two police in there and just two TVs that are turned off? Why is he watching TVs that are off? What, what are you accomplishing in here? <laughs> it's a cool beat. Yeah, he just fucking tosses it away. He gets mad at it. He gets pissed off that the coffee's hot. He's like, nope. Fuck this coffee. What the fuck is- what? 
What is the what is going on in here? She just has a fucking belt that says sexy. Can I can I get in here? Hey, can I get in this room? Can you open this one up please? No. That's my that's my room. Stop stop. Stop it. You can't look in there. That's mine. Open it for me, please. Open this one. Please? Please? Okay. Oh, this one. Oh, I like I like this one. Not this one. This one this nice empty one. That looks cozy. What's this? Please don't tell me they just left him knocked out on the floor. Did they really just fucking leave him knocked out? Okay. They just straight up left him knocked out on the floor. What was the purpose of that? What? What? See, I told you I was just gonna shit on this game the whole time. I will find all the flaws. This is how you make a David Cage game fun. So if I walk over here... Can I just go fucking take his body out? Ah! Okay. Hey, Ethan, get the fuck up. We're getting out of here. Has he confessed? <laughs> Not yet. I see. He can't confess because he doesn't have anything to confess. Leave us alone. I... Uh, Lieutenant Blake said to... Please, leave us alone. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Right, uh, I'll be at the door if you need anything. Gonna have a little bit of fun in this room. I really hate how dreary this game looks. Christ! Are you alright, Ethan? It's just all fucking gray. Like, everything is gray. Oh my god, Crab Claw the controller. I gotta get out of here. I've got to save my son. Let's see what I can do. <clears throat> Let's get out. I'm going to find a way to get you out of here, Ethan. Stay put. I'll be back. Let's go steal the keys now. Okay. Give me your keys. Now, now what am I doing? I have an idea. I know exactly what I'm supposed to do. The most critical part of the game right here. If you don't do this, all of the children will die. You have to come over here. And make a coffee. No! I can't make another one! The game is over! Everyone is going to die! I can't make another coffee! Well, rip. I failed. Game over. This is just so lame. Like, it's just like... You just fucking walk around and just like... 
It's so stiff, too. Where do I get the key? Yes, let me look at this map that does absolutely nothing. And look, there's a- let me go walk back this hallway that has absolutely nothing. Uh, I don't know how far I am I- I am into it. So where do I get these handcuff keys? Maybe I have to be a thief. Should be able to get him out of here without being noticed. Gotta find some way to get rid of the guard if I want to free Mars. First, get rid of the cuffs. How do I get rid of the cuffs? First, get rid of the cuffs. Nope. Please? Okay. Let me in, let me in. I want in here. Can I actually go in here? Why? Also, why does it look like his face is like fucking punched in from like far away? Really? They really let you do this? Okay. He was like smiling after he finished. Can I use this one too? How many, can it, will it let you do it again? Oh, that's flushing it, okay. I was about to say, if it just lets you keep pissing. What is the point of being able to come in here? Don't use any soap. There's no point of this room. the keys Keys. Like, I gotta find some way to get in through the police station undetected. A camera. There's a surveillance camera in Mars's room. Must be some way to turn it off. 
I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Look, there's donuts. There's stereotypical donuts on the counters. Look at that. They stereotypical donuts. Because if you're gonna have cops in a game, why not just be fucking stereotypical about them? Put donuts all over the place. Okay. I honestly have no fucking idea what I'm doing. Gary, you can take a break. I'll keep an eye on him. You sure? Actually, I was busting for a piss. If you need to adjust his handcuffs, the keys are on my desk. Oh. It was that easy? What? Where are the handcuffs? I was in that room before. Ethan, put this on. You might be able to get by them without being noticed. Oh shit, the handcuffs. I forgot about that. Okay, hold tight. <laughs> Oops. Where's his desk at? This one, right? No. Maybe over here. Where are the keys? This is so stupid. This is unbelievable. How how did this game get like such high praise? Where the fuck are the keys? Here? No, this is his office. Why does he just get this fucking drab, dreary office in the corner? This game is pissing me off. Am I gonna have to look this up? Like, why is it so hard? Oh, now it shows me where they are, okay. Now it shows me. So they're like, right here. 
Okay, stop moving like that. Oh my god, dude. sec uh heavy rain why must you do this <laughs> one second Okay. Are we busting him out now? Are you getting busted out? That's it. You're free. Don't be so aggravated towards me. I'm freeing you, dude. Don't be fucking mad. I'm taking you out of here so we can save your fucking son. Here, put this on. They're having a break. If you're quick, you'll be able to slip out without being noticed. Head straight to the exit. Don't stop, don't talk, don't even think. Just walk. I don't know what to say. I... Just say you're gonna save your son. I got a trophy. Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars. Did they just say origami? Victim, Sean Mars is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. Really? The police manhunt is now underway and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. I brought some food. I didn't know what you like, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. <sighs> You're all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? No. I... Sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards is the bodies. The bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I'd love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowned his victims and has kidnapped his own son? 
they never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own. <clears throat> okay, what now? Do I just sit here and wallow in my own filth? How is this game getting so many views? What am I doing? That's... Okay. What am I doing now? Do people actually like to watch this game? Or is it just that I'm shitting on it? Complaining how bad it is and how stupid it is. Kill him. What the fuck? What? Kill someone to save your son? Excuse me? Yeah, this is a. The, I think this game is that old. Holy fuck, I have to kill someone? Dude. Oh, now I'm the big guy, okay. Okay, what's going on now? <laughs> Where are all these people coming from? Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm just... Curious where all, you're all coming from. 
Are you guys just coming from the Manfred. heavy rain Twitch tag? I'm guessing. Manfred. Anybody home? Manfred. Manfred. Who's this? Oh, that's the one. Chick. Is this the guy that I'm supposed to kill? Not as this guy, but... Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? Scott? This is Scott! Oh, yes, of course! Well... Good to see you. How long is it? Been? Isn't he the origami killer? Oh, about ten years. I, I bet guess. he's the origami killer. At my age, time means nothing anymore. I I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. How about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this this calls for a celebration. I've just the thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. A bottle of scotch. Do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Sure, no problem. Okay. How do I move? Okay, where's the phone at? He's so close to the phone. Why can't you just fucking answer it, dude? You're like five steps away from it. Don't bother, I'll get it. No, let me get it. I got it. My phone. I got it. Hello. No. No. Yes, this is Manfred's, but he's you not bitch. available right now. Can you call back this you afternoon? You fucking bitch. That was my job. That was Thanks. my job to answer the phone. I'm cock blocking you. You're not coming out. No. No. She escaped my grasp. Okay. Well, to old friends. Drink. I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Oh. Let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. Okay. Ah! Is she gonna go grab it too? Why does he just have a whole entire store through typewriters? I can almost like guarantee you this guy's the killer. Like he probably, probably is. I just, I'm guessing. But, he seems like he would be. Let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. The Royal Five. And yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. No doubt about it. 
It's a Royal Five. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. At least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Well, yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. Her face is so weird. I hate it. I fucking hate her- oh my god, I hate her face. It's so creepy. Her face is legitimately creepy. Ugh. Where was the records? Hello? Manfred! Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police oh. call will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? He dead. He's dead. Oh. How did that even happen? What? Excuse me? There was literally no sounds or anything. He just fucking died. Did he get shot? Scott? Oh my god. There was no gunshot. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be his scapegoats. We've got to get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? Just leave. Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. You better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. So the phone. Pretty sure that's it. That's gotta be it. 
Oh no, the phone back here too. That should have been the last thing, right? I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from fighting us. But come on, let's go. I didn't get them all. What did I miss? Going? I'm taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We are partners, remember? We had a deal. This isn't a game, Lord. Manfred was murdered because he knew the identity of the killer. He was ten feet away, for Christ's sake. No. I can't take a chance on the killer getting that close to me again. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I've got to find my sense of love. You're not going to stop me. I killed your Johnny. It's all my fault. I should never have let her come with me. I can't just leave her like that. She'd do anything to find the guy who killed her son. This girl's stubborn as a mule. She'll never let up, with or without me. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. Once again in my arms. Just gonna go kill someone. Yeah. What do you want? Oh, fuck. I said a thousand. I don't want to kill him. 
I don't want to do it. I don't want. I don't want to do it. I. I don't. I don't want to do it. <sighs> do I just have to fucking murder this man in cold blood? I. I don't want to. If you want to score, man, you gotta fucking call first. Come on. Beat it. Fuck! Are you deaf or what? I should get out of here. You're gonna cause me trouble. Hey! Take it easy, man. Huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. I'm sure we can make a deal, huh? God! I'm gonna blow your brains out, you son of a bitch! You think you can come into my house and steal my dope? You'll be shooting up in hell, motherfucker! Will you stop fucking moving? He has a kid. He looks like he has a kid. I don't want to kill this person who has a kid. What is this scene? Hold it, man! I give you whatever you want. Got dope? I got cash? You, you want some dope? Please. Please don't kill me, man. I got children. These my girls, see? This one's Sarah, and the little one, that's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please. Please don't shoot. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? What?
I don't know what I should do. I feel like I should let him live. What should I do? I'm a father, too. But I'm no killer. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt, be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. Hmm. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Hmm. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Vitropin without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. So, you're looking for Betropid, my dear? Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. No answer? I'll take that as a yes. No! I don't want the drink. <clears throat> can you just- oh my god, you can just select anything. Dad, 
Dad? It's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt, be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Going in. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Betropin. Without a prescription. Sorry. You were misinformed. Goodbye. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. So, you're looking for Betropin, my dear? Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. No, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. I'm not drinking. I'm not drinking your fucking piss water. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? Don't be shy. I'm not going to bite. Do you have many clients? A few. I help to ease their anxiety. Get my hands been off, thin enough, hard working enough. I reassure those who find the system too difficult. I'm like a safety valve that keeps society from imploding. No, 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 no. I, I heard you it. had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. This guy's Shame. creepy. I was looking for something around Marble Street. You're not drinking? Yeah, sure I am. No! No! What the fuck? Dude, are you fucking serious? I hit circle because circle is no! You fucking dumbass game! Oh my god, I'm about to just delete this thing. I said fucking circle for no! Dude, it puts you all the way back here? There's no fucking checkpoints Matt, in this game? Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a doctor There's no Baker. fucking checkpoints in this dumbass to fucking to game. Dude! Club. He made some cash and bought up some cheap ass apartments. This game is like literal fucking garbage. I don't understand why people like it so much. Interesting. 
Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt. Be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. I seriously don't understand why people like this piece of shit game. Like, it is so fucking bad. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. This is unbelievably fucking... I hate fucking heavy rain so fucking much I should have never came back to this it's like legit one of the worst games I've ever played hi uh, I was told that you could get the tropin without a prescription sorry you were misinformed goodbye I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please come in. I'm not drinking your fucking garbage goddamn fucking beverage. So, you're looking for Betropin, my dear? Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. Heavy rain. No, thanks. Fucking suck well, dick. Helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. This game makes me angry and upset. It is so bad. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? I met a guy at a party. He popped some betropin. Told me he got it from you. Can you get other types of medicine? Everything has a price, my dear. What about you? Do you have a price? Forget it. I'm not for sale. What the fuck? I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. You're not drinking? No. Okay, so X. I am, um, I'm, I'm not really thirsty. I'll get your prescription. Won't be a moment. Wait here. Oh shit. Oh god, what is he doing now? Oh no. Oh no. Do I have to like... Okay.
Okay, so let's see. What am I supposed to do? That guy gives me the creeps. I better take a look around to see if I can find anything before he gets back. That's what I needed. I've gotten three new trophies so far. What chapter is this? Let me see. I want to see what chapter this one is. I'm at. Oh, this is Mad Jack. So do you only get like one chance with these chapters and then it just ends?
Is he in here? Can you stop that thing? That's rude as fuck. Nam and Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? I'm listening. Can we go inside? Yeah. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from me. Sorry, ma'am. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for me. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. You trying to scare me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Now take a walk. that blood here. Fingerprints. Probably Mad Jacks. Size 10. Most likely a visitor. Harry coming. Traces of orchid pollen in the air inside the garage. Same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. Is the killer's car being here? Few traces of blue paint, same tire tracks, no doubt about it. Killer's car was here. Well, here's something. Hey. 
Ah! I'm stuck. I'm stuck. What the heck? What the fuck? What is this game? Is there more over here? Oh. More tools. Okay. Did I find everything over here? Where does this lead to? Oh, just over there. There's gotta be more stuff around here. Can I go in there? Let's see. Oh. What is that? Oh, more footprints. Size 13. Must be Matt Jack size. Where is the footprints going? Where's this blood trail go? Is this a clue? Oh. Get you out of sight. Oh shit. Uh, okay, he's gonna fuck me up now. I think I found all the clues, at least I hope I did. That's okay. Beat him up. Go, 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 go. Tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. Really? I've no time to lose, Jack. I want to know who that car belongs to. Well, what you want don't mean shit to me. I ain't no snitch. You better just lock me up now, boy. Uh, broke my fucking nose, pig. 
Next, I'm gonna blow a hole in your face. Spill all of it. You will scare me with the CSI. You ain't got it in you. Last chance, Jack. Make it easy on yourself. What you gonna do? You ain't got them killer eyes, so what? You gonna cuff me? Motherfucking mind, man! Oh shit, Jack! Ain't nothing to it. Just a little bit of self-defense. Page one of the police manual. Kill or be killed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, enough. I'm starting to remember some things. You can be cool, uh, I'll tell you the tale. No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car. Get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the question in time. Said I was I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything... Oh, shit, not now. Anything you say can and will be... Hey, <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. Got him. Did I not get any trophies from that? What the fuck? So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has not the get time any of the and trophies. the means. Not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but... He's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. It gets a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Scrambled eggs. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. Hmm. What chapter am I on now? I only do one more chapter.
Who the fuck is inviting me to the division? What the fuck? How do you make a perfect omelette? There's a trophy for making an omelette. I don't know. I mean, I kind of want to hop off this game. How do you do this? That looks so goddamn gross. I should be ready by now. looks good even though I just said it looks gross I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe looks better on you looks good enough to eat. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for royal machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list, the list of subscribers to Origami Magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah. Lord, wait.
if the killer really used a royal typewriter and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, I, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me, we're gonna find him. guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Pick up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. You never give up, do you? Can I even what? I can't even interact with that person. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name is John Shepard. You wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The children's graves are in the next plot. Thanks. One sec. Yeah, I'm, this is gonna be my last chapter. I can't fucking stomach Excuse this me. game. I'm looking for the grave of a boy named John Shepard. Straight ahead, a little further out. Thanks. Like I, I legit don't understand why this game is so highly praised. And one of the one of the biggest fucking sins of this game is you can't fucking like skip cutscenes and stuff. Like so, if you're trying to do a, if you're trying to clean up and trying to clean up trophies and 
speed through the story for a different ending, you can't fucking skip the cutscene, so you have to replay 100% of the game. There's a fucking origami on it. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Yeah, Shelby, I know you put that there. An orchid. These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77, October. Wait, I have to play as the fucking- WHAT?! I have to play as the kid, excuse me? Why? This is so bad. Why are they playing in a fucking construction yard? He's gonna die. Come on. See how he what dies. Jeez, you're 
nothing but a... Jeez, you're in nothing but a slow boat. This is so bad. I am definitely off after this chapter. I cannot stomach this anymore. This is so bad! This sucks! This sucks. Seriously, who let their kids play in a construction zone? Do people just like watching people get tormented by this piece of shit game? Is that why there's so many viewers? They just like to watch this game make people bitter. John, wait for me! Get a blue ball! These dumbass motion controls, too. And this is so fucking long and dragged out. Like, holy crap. Like, how long does this chapter need to fucking be? Christ, that's John's voice. John! My 
my foot. My foot is stuck. Grab on. I'll put it over there. never did find any help. Yeah. His brother drowned. I put a rainwater. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. I bet that kid is Scott Shelby. I bet Scott Shelby is to a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... He could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. This game is so bad. Wait. What's the matter? That man over there. Yeah? He's Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What's he doing here? Putting flowers on John Shepard's grave. Oh, I got the chef trophy. Sexy girl? What is that? Sexy girl. How close am I to the end? Is that really what this one's called? Oh, here's the trophies.
to play anymore. Ah! There's so many viewers. I don't want to let everyone down. But I don't want to play anymore. I don't like playing this game. I mean, I can do one more. Ch I'll do one more fucking chapter. Fine. One more chapter. That is fucking it. One more chapter and I am done. With this dumb game. Fucking jackass over there. He's dancing so dumb. But he's just like, nope. <laughs> Oh, I see it right there. I hate when the fucking orientation Go, you fucking... Get in there. Go. Mr. Mr. Mendez. What? I fucking hate this. Oh, he's right there. 
What the fuck? I, I fucking, I fucking hate this. I can't stand this game. Like it physically fucking hurts me to play this. Oh my god. Is there a dressing room? No. Hide. Oh. I fucking hate this game. Why am I playing this? How do I, like, what am I doing? So close to being down. Like, what do I do? I fucking can't with this game. What the fuck is going on now? What? Why am I dancing? Take your clothes off. supposed to do? Paco's pet goon isn't letting anyone through. Gonna have to think of something else. If this Paco is one of the buddies of Dr. Death, then I better watch my step. I'm gonna have to rethink my strategy if I want to talk to Paco. I've gotta find someplace to change. Oh. Why are there so many people watching me fucking break down playing Heavy Rain? People just like seeing me want to cry because of this game.
Time to play the sexy girl. Wow. Cool. <sighs> Can I just kill off every single character so I don't have to play the game anymore? Ugh. Just take it off. Makeup? Okay. Makeup! Stab her eye! Stab the eye! Go, you fucking stupid motion controls! Fuck motion controls! Fucking use motion controls to rip a fucking skirt off, okay. Can I take the top off entirely? That might make this game cool. That's all she did. That's okay. Is that all you can do? You're gonna need a little bit more fucking oomph than that to get fucking Paco's and fucking Paco's fucking pocket. Paco's pocket. Fucking Paco's pocket pussy. Oh, he's like, ooh, look at that. Oh. Oh my god, look at his face. Look at his gross ass fucking face. Oh my god. on my stream what the it's fuck is going on the boss why is everyone joining my heavy rain stream hey, what am i doing do people just like watching me fucking tear this game apart and fucking shit on it Oh yeah, let's go to a fucking private area now. Where are the stairs? Why didn't he like escort me up himself? Why do I have to- okay. Fucking go to the oh my god. Go to the fucking goddamn fucking stairs. Oh my god. 
The controls in this game are fucking ass. How is this one chapter taking me this long? I thought it would be a nice little short chapter and I'd be done, but no. What is this gross ass room? I go in, I make him talk to the gun, and I get out of there before I get into big trouble. Everything's gonna be alright. Everything is going to be alright. So, welcome to my little kingdom. <laughs> what? I'll take this. Just get in the way of the good things. So, show me what you can do. Take it all. Slowly. Take it all off. Uh, could, could we just talk first? We don't need any more talking, baby. I all talked out. Now, show me what you can do. Uh, okay, uh, could... Could I have a drink? You know, just a little drink to break the ice? We already broke the ice. Let's get wet. Come on. Do your thing, girl. I'm sorry, um, I, I think there's been a little misunderstanding. Look, look uh, I I'll just go. No harm done. Another time. I think it is you who have misunderstood, honey. I'm tired of wasting my time. It's now or never. I never say never for an answer. Really? Do what it takes, Mad. Play for time. The lamp. If only I could find some way to grab it. Oh, I know. What am I supposed to do? Oh. How is this game allowed on PlayStation if they censor everything else? Let's hear lover boy sing. What? Fucking how? How? How do you fucking do that? Wait. The frick? Fucking motion controls. Ah. If 
you call out, I'll kill you. Got it? Shit. What you want? You rent an apartment on Marble Street. I want to know why. An apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> you haven't got the balls, lady. But you're going to no balls when I gush up with you. Boss? Is everything all right? What the fuck? <laughs> His face. If you value those prized balls of yours, Papa, what? then it's time for you to talk. <gasps> what was that? Getting started. How about some more? Ah, I never saw foot in that apartment. I gave the keys to some guy. He said he needed a place. He had money. What was that guy's name? I, I don't know his name. I swear. Ah, ah. Ah, Shepard. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? I really appreciate this romantic moment, but I got a dash. See you next time, lover boy. She got the name. to get out of here. I've got a massive headache. Yeah, I'm off after this chapter, 100%. It's almost 1 a.m. too. It'll probably be a while before I play this game again. It's so fucking bad. It's one of those games where you just want to sit around and make fun of something and just fucking shit on it. Okay, I'm hopping off now, so thanks for being in here. Good night. I'm here to see Paco. Paco? There ain't no Paco here, fella. Get lost. Are you absolutely certain? He's in his office.